Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about the always on display for the iPhone 14 Pro and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Ever since Apple introduced this brand new feature, many iPhone users have been wanting somewhat of an always on display for their iPhones, even if it isn't exactly like the one on the iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. I see it on my YouTube comments every day. A lot of you guys want some sort of always on display for your devices and that's exactly what i'm going to show you how to do in today's video how to get an always on display similar to the iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max on any iphone so let's just dive right into this video now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest ios news and apple software updates of course don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now there's a few things that I didn't like about the always on display when Apple initially launched the iPhone 14 Pro and that was the ability to have the wallpaper in the background without an option to remove it. I feel like the screen was always too bright. It was always a very distracting so if I propped it up on my car when I was driving maybe on the actual dock or if I set it next on my nightstand at night I would think that the iPhone's display was actually on. It was distracting. It was always bright and I didn't have an option to lower the brightness okay so i ended up turning off the feature that wasn't until ios 16.2 which now gives you the option under display and brightness to turn off the wallpapers right and this allows the iphone to have a completely dark wallpaper background here for the always on display now it isn't as distracting it isn't as bright and i find myself using the always on display on the iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max a lot more. So let me show you how you can get this always on display style on any iPhone. It's very simple actually. You want to go into your device, right? You want to head on over into settings. Now keep in mind there's always going to be some limitations. The iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max do have an LTPO display which allows the iPhone to drop the frame rate to one hertz in order to preserve battery and things like that. But if you have an OLED display iPhone, you should be able to have this same style lock screen on any other iPhone. So let's go into do not disturb right here under focus let's go to do not disturb and the first option where it says people you want to make sure that if there's anyone in this category you want to make sure you remove everyone that's suggested from this category so click on the x remove everyone here and make sure you select the first option that says silence notifications from this will silence notifications from everyone that's on this list so of course if we have no one then all notifications will continue to come in so that's what we want here because we just want this for the always on display then we want to go into apps same thing here silence notifications from make sure if there's any apps on this list you go ahead and remove those apps from the list unless you don't want notifications from those apps and make sure it is clean silence notifications from is enabled and there we go now we still get notifications from apps and from everyone as well now here is where the magic starts to happen if we go into the options here we have three new options right here we have show and lock screen which i keep enabled so i can see my notifications on the lock screen obviously then we also have a dim lock screen this is the option that allows us to get that very similar always on display Play on this device and last but not least you have notification badges if you want to go ahead and hide that you can go ahead and do so i like to keep it off so let me go ahead and show you here is the lock screen on this iphone 13 pro max as you can see right there if i go into my iphone and bring down the cover sheet now as i mentioned there is some limitations because of the always on display ltpo technology on the iphone 14 pro on the other iphone you bring down the cover sheet and then control center and then you want to go ahead and enable do not disturb and as you can see right there we have a very similar looking lock screen on this device so if i go into the lock screen here on both devices these are pretty much identical this one does require do not disturb and it is without a passcode because you can't really lock your device you want to bring down the cover sheet on this one because if you do lock it obviously the ltpo display is not here but if you want to use it for your nightstand always on display this works perfectly right because notifications won't be silenced you don't have the background on the wallpaper and by the way if you use a darker wallpaper it's going to be even better and even darker just like so and that way you can use an always on display at night on your nightstand both devices look pretty much identical at this point the only difference is of course one's using the do not disturb option but you can see right there that both devices have pretty much the same always on display as i mentioned if you just want some sort of always on display for the nightstand on your home when you go to bed at night and this is definitely the option to go with do not disturb now gives you the ability to make sure you dim the lock screen when you enable the feature and that way you can enjoy some sort of always on display on any iphone let me know what you think about this one in those comments down below thank you for watching guys i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you on the next one peace